Hey, good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. I'm KJU 11 meteorologist Tim Pandages here with your uh, tropical update. We're still talking about tropical storm Brett, and we've got an investigative area right behind it tagged 93L that still has a high chance of becoming the next named storm on the list this year, and that would be Cindy. Here's a look at the basin overall areas that we would normally expect to find development this time of the year. Gulf of Mexico, Western Caribbean, Southwest Atlantic, all void of any potential activity. It's really all out in the main development development region of the Atlantic that lights up later in the season, more active now, a little bit uh, unusual. A lot unusual, actually. Tropical Storm Brett, you can see here, farthest off to the west and then right behind it to the east, Invest 93L. Development odds there from the National Hurricane Center up to 80% over the next seven days. They just did a pass with the satellite imagery and did a wind, scat a wind uh, scatterometer reading on it. And that does show that it has an elongated surface low pressure, surface circulation. Uh, but the winds are still not high enough, and also we're not seeing um, the uh, shower and storm structure with it being exceptionally organized just yet. It's getting there. It'll probably take another day or two before we see Cindy or at least a tropical depression forming from 93L. Here's a look at Brett right now. A difference from yesterday. It's stronger. 60 mile per hour winds now. When we talked yesterday, it was only at 40 miles per hour. So that's a significant jump in intensity. It's now a mid to higher end range of a tropical storm. It was all the way up to 74 miles per hour before we go over to a category one hurricane. And on satellite imagery here on the infrared, remember we use this filter to take the temperatures of the cloud tops, colder cloud top stronger convection well when we see start the the black shades and some white shades there colder cloud top so we've got a burst of convection ongoing currently hurricane hunters are currently in the storm doing some recon and that data will be put into the models for intensification purposes as we go forward in time as it gets closer and closer to the windward and leeward islands barbados the farthest to the east there will likely see the brunt of the impacts first tomorrow night into early Friday. All right, here's a look at visible satellite imagery. Does show it's very well put together right now. We've got the outflow stretching off to the north. We've got some moisture feeders off to the south. Overall, its presentation is quite impressive over the last 24 hours, really kind of intensifying here. There are also changes out to the forecast in terms of watches and warnings posted by the National Hurricane Center, and that is a tropical storm watch in the yellow. That includes Barbados. Tropical storm warnings now in the orange. These will likely all be upgraded to warnings as we go further in time as the storm draws closer and closer. Updated track from the Hurricane Center as well does show it maxing out at 65 mile per hour wind, so it's not too far off from its peak intensity now. Could it overperform? Certainly, but its window is likely closing as wind shear will pick up as it heads into the um, Caribbean Sea, especially just south of Hispaniola, getting into this weekend. Notice it's weakening down to 45 mile per hour winds with that increasing wind shear, tilting it over and shearing it apart. Now, right behind it, 93L, we've got still a tropical wave moving to the west northwest at 15, winds at 30. Remember, we need 39 mile per hour winds or greater to get a tropical storm, but this development odds have remained steady for the last 24 hours. 70% chance in two days, 80% chance within the next seven. Overall, you can see the broad surface circulation here, and it is getting itself more organized, but it will take a little while longer. In terms of the computer model tracks on this, it does take it off to the west and then picks up more of a northwesterly component. There is a considerable spread the farther you go out in time here, so we'll have to watch it and see if it will remain a threat for the northern windward and leeward islands. We'll see about that, but most take it off recurving out to sea and potentially a problem for Bermuda if it doesn't weaken by the time it gets there. So that's the latest in the tropics right now with Brett and also Invest 93L. That'll likely be Cindy the next time we talk. Keep in touch if you have any questions. I'm on every social media platform. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also on TikTok. We'll see you again tomorrow.